how's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. How much static stretching should you do after a cardiovascular workout? To properly answer this question, it really depends on your health and fitness goals. And since the two most popular fitness goals that I hear from clients are to lose weight and get stronger, I am going to answer this question from these two perspectives based on what science has shown. If you are interested to see where I'm pulling my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, let's get started. So how long should you stretch for after cardio if weight loss is your goal? In order to lose weight, all your body really needs to do is burn off more calories than you are consuming. Stretching after cardio is not going to help with that. So why should you even bother doing it in the first place? Lack of stretching post-exercise is going to decrease your joint range of motion and stiffen your muscles over time. Which means that relatively simple tasks like bending over, tying your shoes, getting up off the ground, walking, or running might feel a little bit more restrictive than they did before. So in this case, static stretching after your workouts can sort of be thought of as a small investment. Not only will your movement continue to feel unrestricted, but you will also get the maximum benefit from your cardio workouts. According to the American College of Sports Medicine, holding a static stretch for no longer than 30 seconds appears to be the most effective and time efficient way to get the benefit from stretching. So if you apply this recommendation to about five or six commonly used muscles after a cardio workout, you're looking at spending roughly five to seven minutes post-workout doing stretches. But what if your goal is not weight loss? Let's take a closer look. If getting stronger is the goal, not only do people use static stretching as a way to improve their range of motion, but they also use it to improve future performance, decrease muscle soreness, and reduce the risk of injury. Well, believe it or not, static stretching, especially before your workouts, actually reduces performance in some cases by as much as 12%. But what if your goal was to reduce general muscle soreness? A meta-analysis of studies looking at static stretching post-exercise found inconclusive evidence to suggest that it helps reduce muscle soreness. And if you think it can help with injury prevention, I've got some disappointing news. If you're talking about a repetitive strain injury, where you're doing the same activity over and over again, there is no evidence to suggest that static stretching after your cardio workout is going to help with that at all. But there have been a few studies to suggest that static stretching before your workout can help prevent acute muscle injuries. This is only the case if the static stretching is done before your workout and combined with a five to 10 minute dynamic warm up. So if the main reason you are stretching after your cardio workouts is for any of the three reasons I just discussed, to be honest, you shouldn't be stretching at all. So back to the original question. How long should I stretch for after a cardio workout? Depending on what your health and fitness goals are, the answer could be anywhere from zero to seven minutes. So be sure to ask yourself why you are doing static stretches after your cardio workouts. Otherwise, you might just be wasting your time. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to see me make more content, feel free to subscribe. I release new videos every week. And while you're at it, feel free to check out some of my previous videos as well. Just one click on them and it'll take you right there. In any case, thank you all so much for watching, and stay strong.